hi everybody how are you today in this video i'm going to show you how to blend your gum with a magnetic stirrer a magnetic stirrer will do a better job of blending your gum because it has strong vortex okay now before you add your gum to your magnetic stirrer always don't forget that you're going to add uh, glycerin to your gum to make it a little softer right so that's the first thing you're going to do measure your gum Measure the amount you want to use. The first thing you want to do first is, don't forget, sterilize your beaker, okay? Then put it in, uh, inside the magnetic stirrer. Then we are going to get the stir bar inside the beaker. Be careful though, because of the strong force, it can break your beaker, so be careful. Then you add your water to that measure the amount you know the amount of water you want to make right so i'm not giving a recipe for this just general showing you how to use a magnetic stirrer to better blend your gum right perfect then we're going to start our magnetic stirrer i'm going to start at one 1000 rpm the RPM is the measure of the strength of the vortex. Vortex is the technology that really helps us blend well, right? So, we're going to wait that, let that start. So while that is running, we're going to add glycerin to our gum, okay? Measure your gum and hard glycerin too. You ask me, why do I still have to hard glycerin when I have uh, a magnetic stirrer? The magnetic stirrer, so hard your gum, add your glycerin to gum. Basically, sometimes if your gum is 0.2%, hard uh, glycerin, depending on what you're making, uh, you can hard glycerin at 5% or even less. So mix it well. To just uh, dissolve the particle a little bit a tiny bit so that's the first thing you want to do while this is running then you're going to then you're going to allow this to go make sure you touch it inside the vortex throw it inside the vortex And don't forget what I'm doing now. The, your spatula will do a better job for you of uh, moving this down. So once you see, once you have done that, we're going to improve the RPM. Okay. We want a stronger vortex, so we want to let the rpm be 1000 per 1700 once the sticker increase the rpm to give you more force increase the rpm to give you more force then set the time to as you can see, I have it at 1,700 is stronger. As you can see, you can get a stronger pull inside there. That's what you want because you want your gum to really be, to come out very soft and all together. You can see the vortex is creating more. See the power of the vortex now is stronger. That's what you want. Even if you want it further, you want, you can take it all the way to uh, 2,000 because 2,000 is the max for this. That's why it's called MS2000. But I'm okay at 1,700. Then you're going to let it run for at least uh, five minutes. You want to let it run for at least five minutes. After that, we're going to stop it and you're going to see exactly what you have. Uh, the power of a magnetic stirrer um, is really unique. It's very, very important when you are making uh, 
when you're making a gong, when you're blending your gong. I remember doing a video for you uh, a few minutes, moment back. Uh, tools that will make your formulation job a lot easier, okay? Instead of me having to use my stirrer to blend this, this will do a perfect job for me. It's going to make my job a lot easier, uh, you know. This uh, magnetic stirrer, which costs around $40 here in Canada on Amazon, uh, we cost a bit less depending on where you are in the world, right? Uh, I washed every bit of it. And the good thing about this magnetic stirrer, it's called a sensor instrument, by a sensor instrument, is that it has a digital reason where you can see your RPM, you can monitor the time that's left, you can just, you know, do all the stuff while you are monitoring it. Please don't leave it unattended to. Just let it do its work and just be monitoring the time and when the time is over, it's going to stop by itself. Now I stopped it, right? I just, uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to stop it in the next one minute. Just let it do its thing. Let me zoom it so you see exactly. See the strong vortex that it's creating for you. A uh, matter of uh, your, your stirrer, cannot do this kind of uh, cannot create this kind of vortex no matter how fast you try to do it it cannot create this strong vortex vortex technology is good in that it doesn't allow excess air into your product it helps your gum to hydrate faster that's why vortex is the key and that's what an whether an overhead stirrer or magnetic stirrer will do they will produce a vortex uh, that will make your blending smoother and a lot as you can see yeah it's this is powerful vortex technology is being in the use by uh, contra manufacturers or co in the commercial industry for a while so a magnetic stirrer or even an overhead stirrer will create vortex for you um, and depending on the propeller you are using when you are uh, using an overhead stirrer a four bladed Propeller will cre also create vortex. Be careful of uh, propellers with fan. Okay, just giving you tips if you when you when you upgrade later on. Just be careful of propeller with fan head. Use the one with cross head. That's four cross. Okay, that will create a better better vortex for you. So I'm going to stop here at this point, and we're going to. So the next thing you want to do is just uh, remove your stabber. Do not use your hand to remove it. Make sure you use something else to retrieve the stabber. And as you can see, this is amazing right here. This gel is so smooth. It's so smooth and all together. It's the ideal gel to use to make your product. And either you're making a facial gel or so, there's no hair in it because we use a vortex technology and that's what a magnetic stirrer will do. I hope you have enjoyed this video one way or the other. Uh, if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified of my next video, okay? Remember on this channel, I have a membership for cosmetic formulation training. So if you want to learn formulation training, I want to hear directly from me inside our tips that is not available to everyone. You want to improve your formulation skills. So click that join button and become a part of my exciting student we have done. We're doing a lot and we still have a lot to cover. So don't forget, click that join now to be my supporter and also learn cosmetic formulation for me. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.